Professional Go player Lee Sedol said he believed humans still have a chance. That was right after he played the last of a five-game championship on March 15 against AlphaGo, the artificial intelligence designed by Google DeepMind. It was a resounding loss. Lee had won only one game, nowhere near enough to defeat the AI, but perhaps enough to keep humanity's dignity intact. AlphaGo took only the first three games to secure victory, while Lee managed to pinch a solitary win in the fourth. After the first match, Google DeepMind CEO and co-founder Demis Hassabis tweeted, AlphaGo wins. We landed it on the moon. So proud of the team. Respect to the amazing Lee Sedol too. While Sedol, who holds the highest professional rank of nine Dan at Go, couldn't hide his surprise. Before the AlphaGo Sedol match, British Go Association's Toby Manning told Nature magazine, I would put money probably on the human, but I wouldn't put lots of money on the human. Google DeepMind's AlphaGo isn't the first AI that's defeated a human opponent in a game of wits. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue beat former world chess champion Gary Kasaprov, who didn't take it too well. I was treating this event as the very friendly scientific co contest or, co or, or um, competition where we could, uh, um, through playing chess, we could uh, find out more about machines' ability to show sign of artificial intelligence. Now, my opponents, uh, the IBM team, took it as the win or lose contest, uh, win or lose at any price. And uh, when uh, uh, IBM was a player, an organizer, an arbiter, a promoter, a sponsor, this attitude created a very hostile atmosphere at the match, which was a big surprise for me. IBM's Deep Blue did have the power of calculation on its side in a game that's simpler than Go. It was able to go through all the possible moves at superhuman speeds. But the executives at Google DeepMind say AlphaGo faced a greater challenge due to the complexity of Go, which they say makes it impossible to survey all the possible moves from beforehand. Google says there are more possible configurations on a Go board than the number of atoms in the universe. And to better prepare AlphaGo, They've programmed it to study as many games as possible while playing against itself and learning from its mistakes. Before the challenge, Jong Jansen, who was a professor of bio and brain engineering in Korea, said, The Lee Sedol Alpha Go match is not just about AI challenging human in a more complex game Go after beating human at chess. Unlike the past when AI calculated the probabilities and patterns for all moves, AI is challenging human with human-like reinforcement learning and strategy derived from deduction. The match, regardless of the result, will be a landmark in the history of AI. AlphaGo marks a groundbreaking achievement in artificial intelligence. It was designed to achieve something similar to human intuition. It may have, in fact, gone beyond it. AI is already pervasive in everyday lives. It helps us in a wide variety of fields, ranging from medical diagnosis to stock trading, robot control to law, scientific discovery to toys. Now AlphaGo's victory is being hailed as a breakthrough in AI that uses deep neural networks rather than brute force calculations to solve a given set of problems. The founding executive editor of Wired magazine, Kevin Kelly, points out, Critics of current AI claim their intelligence is not really intelligent. Hello, most of human intelligence is not really intelligent. It was only a year ago that the founder and CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, gave a conference about the possible risks posed by the uncontrolled cognitive abilities of AI. But on March 9th, he was tweeting, Congrats to DeepMind. Many experts in the field thought AI was 10 years away from achieving this. And Canadian futurist, science writer and ethicist, George Dvorsky, thinks that, in all likelihood, artificial intelligence will produce new ways of creating wealth while freeing humans to do other things. While intelligent machines seem poised to make strides in leaps and bounds, it will be up to developers to shape their progress and direction.